Hello again, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm on my way to work. It's like a 20 mile. It's 20 miles away, but today traffic is light, so I, get, I, have, I, have, I have time. I thought I would have been on the road even longer. Well, anyway, I, I had a friend, shout out to him. I, I won't call his name because I didn't get permission to. But he always used to make fun of people that do mule work. <laughs> I always hear that to this day for me with children. Look, look at this mule. Look at you. You, you did mule work. Uh, what he meant was putting the uh, cart before the horse. Oh, gentlemen, this is why I'm a big believer in mathematics. Because mathematics, to me, as I've, I've heard someone say, and I agree, that mathematics is the language of the universe. And I've seen people put the cart before the horse. Which... I don't understand why that makes sense. Maybe because I like mathematics and I know that you do the first thing first, the second thing second, and the third thing third, and so on and so forth. You do not do as you please. You cannot do as you please. There is a process. There is a way that things are to be done and you conduct yourself and govern yourself accordingly. Like take for example, my senior high school principal always said, you are a young, you have all the time in the day to get your education. Get your education now while you are young and you have got nothing but time. When you leave school, you will not have all this time during the day because the morning is the best time for learning. And you will spend that working and you cannot learn as well when you go to school at night. So learn all you can while you're young, while you have time. Uh, and then she said the same thing, but she didn't call it mule work, but that's what I thought of when I heard her say it. She said, it does not make sense to do today's work tomorrow. Learn all you can while you can. Take advantage of this time now. And, and I realized most people joke around in school and, and I took it seriously because what she said makes sense. Why should I now go to do outside of school what I should have done in school? That's doing mule work. While I have the time to do it, do it now. Don't practice doing mule work. And in church, a pastor had done a, a service on the stages of life. And he said between the ages of zero and 30, are the learning stages. So gentlemen, during the ages of 0 and 30, even though you, have, you leave, leave school at 18, you are in the learning stage. So use your time wisely to learn all you can. Because from 0 to 60, you are now in the building stage of your life. So you should not be learning while you're supposed to be building. And I know what life is, things happen, and it's not perfect. I'm not saying if you have to do it, something is wrong, no. I'm just saying, if you can help it, life happens. I know I've been there and done that, life happens. However, if it is within your power, you learn all you can in your 30s, and from 30 to 60, you build. And from 60 until the good Lord calls you, you are now to instruct. Gentlemen, you do not have the luxury to be playing around when you're supposed to be learning and building. And when I say play around, I mean wasting time doing nonsense. If what you're doing is not productive, it's nonsense. And you should not even be in the habit and practice of doing nonsense. That is for, for two-year-olds, until you're seven, maybe 10, depending on how you raise. And no grown man needs to be doing what ten, two year olds and 10 year olds are doing. You cannot be approaching life like a two year old and a 10 year old. I'm sorry, if I hate your feelings, tough. Just stay on Press Club.